stores across the state are planning to close for one day only tomorrow. It's their way of protesting a proposed ban on menthol cigarettes. Yeah, store owners say that this will really hurt their business. WBZ's Tashani Whitlow has the story, all new at 6. It's basically same things, no difference, Marlboro and menthols. Is minority is smoke menthols. A proposed ban on menthol cigarettes has some store owners worried about their livelihood. We're going to lose a lot of employment, so we have to, this is our 40 to 50 percent of our revenue, and we definitely, you know, it has to be a lot of store, has to be closed. His Dorchester convenience store, one of hundreds closing in protest to rally at the State House Wednesday. The ban would include all flavored cigarettes, including menthol and e cigarette products, and would leave store shelves like these bare and some smokers upset. I think it's infringing upon rights that have been in place for quite a while. But the Boston Public Health Commission says the marketing and retail practices of tobacco companies to infiltrate our communities of color with menthol tobacco products are unacceptable. And the fact that similar tactics are being used now to target our kids with vaping products demands action. According to the CDC, African Americans are more likely to die from smoking related diseases than white smokers. If passed, a store caught selling menthol cigarettes could face a $200 fine for its first offense, $400 for its second, along with a seven day suspension to sell tobacco products. So think about if the state or anybody lose 50% of their revenue, how are you going to survive? Lawmakers are expected to vote as early as the 20th of this month. In Boston, Tashani Whitlow, WBZ News.